Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm just going to quickly talk about the website column layer options in the admin area of the responsive framework theme under the display setup tab. Um, and I'm talking specifically about the one on the right hand side where it says website column layout. Now in the responsive framework we have um, a number of different type of pages. We have the home page, we have the search results page, we have a listing page and everything else which falls under the normal page and you can set up the columns um, for each of those pages using the options here. Now I'm talking um, in, I'm taking a look at the directory theme at the moment but the options here in the admin are the same for all of the premium press responsive themes. Okay so if we have a look um, to start with we've got this home page one. Now this um, if I look at the website at the moment as you can see we have um, the sidebar on the, on the left hand side and the content which is this kind of a bigger block on the right hand side and if, as you can see we have the, um, the sidebar on the left hand side and obviously the main content here is on the right. If I wish to change that I could simply click on the, uh, the corresponding image that relates to the, the layout that I wish to use so if I wanted the content um, to be on the left and the sidebar on the right simply click that. As you can see the red box highlights the one that's currently in use if I refresh the page as you can see now the sidebar is on the right and the main content is on the left. If I wish to have a three column layout, I simply click the three column layout one, refresh the page, as you can see now I have three columns. I have a sidebar on the left, the main content in the middle and another sidebar on the right. So that kind of relates to all of the, um, the options that are available um, with each of the separate pages. So you can do the same for the search results page, the listing page and everything else, kind of a, a default fallback page at the bottom. There is, however, a slight difference on the home page if you're using custom um, home page objects. So if I go back to my home page, okay, as you can see at the moment we have a three column layout. Um, and as you can see on the central column here, which is the middle column, we have the uh, directory categories, which is a um, categories block. So under the home page um, options here, you can see I've got categories block. If I just show you quickly by editing that, we have this option at the bottom. Um, it's called display. It's one's called full width and one's called inline. And it's quite an important option. The full width option um, will display the content at the top um, before all of the columns are actually um, rendered. So they will be displayed full width at the top. And if you click on the inline option, then it will follow the column layout that you've got. So if you've got inline, obviously you can see here that all these are currently inline, so they're displayed at the top. So if I change this to full width, save changes. As you can see now the, ca the categories are displayed full width at the top and if I wanted it back within the inline element it would be inline there. There we go, back to normal. So as you can see all of the content that's full width displays before all of the ones that are inline. So regardless of what order you've got in the admin um, here, all of the content full width will, will be displayed and rendered before anything's inline. So anything um, that's full width will go at the top, anything that's inline will be displayed at the bottom.